If you're watching this video, you're probably aware that there's been a recent settlement against the National Association of Realtors. And once again, the media has gotten the coverage totally wrong. Um, people have been experiencing high home prices, high mortgage rates, and everybody's been, if you make a video that says the real estate market's gonna crash, you're gonna get 10,000 views like in the first five minutes because everybody wants real estate prices to go down. And the media is spinning this lawsuit to uh, give the impression that realtors aren't going to get paid commissions anymore and it's going to make real estate prices go down. And the only reason real estate prices have been high is because of realtors and all their commissions. And it's just not true. And I did a video right after the settlement happened a couple weeks ago and I explained what the settlement actually meant. And I did it like right after the settlement and I didn't I did it before the media coverage came out and I didn't know the media was gonna spin it the way they did. I literally finished posting my video and a customer of mine, a client that I've sold a house to previously, uh, who I've been working with, who might be looking for another house and maybe thinking about selling his house, sent me this article that I'll post here, the headline. And the headline says, the 6% commission of buying or selling a home is gone after a Realtors Association agrees to a seismic settlement. And then the first line of the article says, the 6% real estate commission, a standard in home purchase transactions, is no more. In a home, it goes on to say that the, they outlawed 6% commissions, and it's just, it's not true. So in this video, I want to tell you exactly what's going on with real estate commissions, what the truth about this, law, about this lawsuit and the settlement is, and how it's going to actually affect real estate commissions and how it's going to affect home prices. So this is going to be the truth that you're not going to see on the mainstream media because I don't do sensational. I actually do what's really happening in the real world. So if you want to know about that, let's get into it right now. Shut up and sit down. Just in case you're new here, this is the Retirement Mentality Channel. It's a place where I want to change your mentality about retirement. We talk a lot about doing that through investing in real estate. So that's why this is so pertinent to this channel. I retired early by buying one house every year and renting those houses out. And after four years, I had reached financial independence and I could cover all my expenses and choose to work or not work and do what I call recreational employment. So let's talk about how this new settlement, which actually is probably going to be um, appealed and they haven't put it into effect yet. So it's still a maybe at this point. And if it kicks in, it's supposed to kick in later this summer. Uh, but I want to cover like the three main things that the uh, mainstream media news outlets have been saying. One of them is that prices are going to go down. Two is that uh, realtors uh, buyers are going to have to pay the buyer's agent out of their own pocket and three that sellers are no longer going to have to pay buyer's agents. So those are the three things the media has been reporting on. So I want to cover those three things. I'm going to try to do it quickly and just get to the basic points here. Okay. Number one is that prices are going to go down because realtors can no longer charge 6%. Well, first of all, the whole lawsuit was premised on the fact that, uh, Someone sued the Association of Real Realtors saying they were not allowed to negotiate their uh, commission. And I'm going to pop in here. I haven't, I'm going to pop in here a copy of a listing agreement, the actual listing agreement that we have. And it, it shows, I'll highlight it here. It shows in the listing agreement, it's a standardized form, but it has a blank where real estate commissions go. So every time I list a house, I have to tell the person I'm listing the house for, I charge a 6% commission and they say, will you do it for four? And I say, no, I won't do it for four because I'm worth more because I have more experience than the agents who do it for four and I do a better job and I have more connections and I get professional photos and I do drones and I do all these things and I tell them why I'm worth more than the guy who charges 4%. And if they say, we really want to pay 4%, I say, that's fine. You can go hire the agent who is worth 4% and you want to sell an asset that's worth a half a million dollars, a million dollars, whatever the price is. And by saving 1% or 2% on the commissions, you could lose tens of thousands of dollars from an agent that doesn't know what they're doing. And that's the buyer's and the, that's the seller's choice of what they want to pay for commissions. They can hire somebody cheaper. There's people that'll do it. There's buyers, there's agents in my market who are already doing 3% commissions before, like last year, before any of this was even being discussed. And they would take 1% for themselves and they would offer 2% to a buyer's agent. And you know why they do that? Because the buyer's agent is more important because the buyer, you need all the buyer's agents to bring buyers to the property. Very rarely does a listing agent bring the buyer to the property. 
Usually a buyer is working with the buyer's agent and that buyer's agent brings people to the property. And that's why even the crappy realtors who were charging the 3% and only keeping one for themselves and paying two, they knew that a buyer's agent was an, a very important part of the transaction. Okay, so this is supposed to be about why this is not going to affect real estate prices. So imagine um, real estate prices are set by the market. Another thing I'd always tell a listing, a potential listing client is I would say, you can tell me how much you think your house is worth and I can tell you how much I think your house is worth. But at the end of the day, the market is gonna tell us what the house is, is worth when people bring an offer. If you say it's worth 800, I say it's worth 700 and we get five offers at 650, we were both wrong. The market's only willing to pay 650 for that house. So the market dictates what they're willing to pay for a property. So if a seller pays a 5% commission or a 4% commission or a 2% commission or a 9% commission, at the end of the day, it's not gonna affect the price of the house. So if real estate commissions, if, which I'm not saying they are, but if real estate commissions were being reduced by this lawsuit, it's not gonna affect the price of a home. Every, whenever I'd call a for sale by owner, I would tell them, like, you think you're saving the 6% commission, but 92% of buyers are already working with the buyer's agent. And most buyer's agents don't even see for sale by owner listings because they're not listed on the MLS. So 92% of buyers, their agents, not even going to know your house is for sale. So you're missing out on all those buyers. The 8% who might be driving around the neighborhood that don't have a buyer's agent that could call you and buy your house. If they're smart, what they should have said is, well, you're saving the 6%. So that should come off of the price of the house. If, if that were true, that agent commissions affected price, the first thing you would do is reduce the price of the house by 6%. But the seller's going to say like the for sale by owner seller's going to say like, no, like my house is still worth this. I'm just not paying a realtor. I want to make that, I want to put that money in my own pocket. And the buyer should say like, well, no, because there's no realtors involved to help make sure we're doing this correctly. So we should save that 6%. And then that therein lies the rub. So that's why I think real estate prices will not be affected regardless of whether commissions change or not. The second thing was that sellers no longer have to pay a buyer's agent. Sellers never had to pay a buyer's agent. They could have said, I want to pay a 3% commission and I'm not going to pay a buyer's agent. But sellers have always understood that they need a buyer's agent to bring the offer to their listing agent. They needed the listing agent to help prepare the paperwork, the title, you know, do the photos, get the drone work. They don't know how, most buyers don't know how to do those things. So they hire the listing agent and they know that it's important for the listing agent to be able to cooperate with the buyer's agent and bring that buyer in. Uh, I've referenced in my previous video, I bought a house in Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, they have real estate agents and they have real tours. Most real estate agents in Puerto Rico are not licensed by the National Association of Realtors. And those agents do not work with buyer's agents. They do not pay buyer's commissions buyer's agent commissions. They do not advertise on the MLS. They advertise on a couple funky websites. So, and that's how 80% of the properties in Puerto Rico are. So if you want to buy a house in Puerto Rico, you have to do the work yourself. You have to go on four different websites to search the properties because they're not all on a national MLS the way they are in the US. And then each, if each agent you have to set up with the listing agent. So you don't just have one buyer's agent who sets up five properties for you to go see. You have to call five different listing agents who may or may not return your phone call, may or, not, may, may or may not be able to meet you today or tomorrow or the next day. So it might take you seven days to see five properties because you got to line up five different people's listing agents appointments. And then if you like the property and you want to make an offer on the property, each listing agent has their own contract because it's not a standardized form and you have to figure out that contract. And obviously it's always going to be in favor of the seller. So you as a buyer have to read that contract and you have to get your own attorney. You have to strike through all the lines that you don't like that are in favor of the seller. And you have to make some of those, you have to add new line, you have to have your attorney add new lines to the contract so that there's things to protect the buyer in there. And it's a freaking disaster. There's a few agents that will represent you as a buyer's agent if you pay them 3%, but the market's not used to paying 3%. So you can pay that out of your pocket, but nobody wants to do that. So if sellers are smart, the, the market will continue to go as it already has, and sellers will continue to pay buyer's agents, and real estate will continue to work as it always has. And if you, so let's go to the, the part three, is buyers will have to pay the buyer's agent out of their own pocket. Some buyers can afford to do this. And the 
The logic behind it is that, well, the price of the house is going to be 3% less because the seller's not paying that buyer's agent. So when the buyer pays that 3% out of their pocket, it didn't, it didn't make the market go up. Well, then what's the point? Then the prices are still going to be the same. But now, instead of the buyer being able to finance 80% or yeah, finance 80 percent of the property and put 20% down, now they're paying 20% down plus all the closing costs plus another 3% to their buyer's agent. So it's more money out of pocket. And who does this hurt the most? This hurts the, the entry level buyers, the first time home buyers, the people that are trying to do the 3% down VA loan, the 3% down FHA loan. Now, if they qualify for that and they've saved up their 3%, and then they also have to show they have reserves in the bank, six months of reserves to pay the mortgage payment. And on top of that, they have to show, they have to pay their buyer's agent another 3%. It's gonna, like it's one more weight on the back of first time home buyers that's gonna make it impossible for them to buy a house. It's like asking them to double their down payment, which they're already struggling to get. So there's nothing good about this for buyers. There's nothing good about this for sellers. There's nothing good about this for real estate agents. What this, what this lawsuit really said was that real estate agents can no longer put in the MLS listing how much they're gonna pay a buyer's agent. So now as a real estate agent, you have to call 10 different realtors, listing agents, who you're gonna go show their properties. And then you have to pre-negotiate what the, what the uh, buyer's commission is gonna be so that you don't have to do it after the fact, after you have a buyer who's already interested in the property. Nobody is winning on this thing. It's making it more difficult for everybody. Sellers, if they're smart, will just keep paying the 6% commission that they've been doing, or they're gonna lose a lot of buyers that don't have the cash to pay a buyer's agent out of their own pocket. It's just like if, all of a sudden the car dealerships stopped paying commission to the salespeople. So when you went to buy a new car, when you were done, you said, okay, we agree. There's a $65,000 car and you negotiate down, you get it for $62,000 and you're like, that's awesome. And then the uh, guy who's selling you the car, the car like goes, by the way, now you have to add my commission on top of that. You'd be pissed because that's just not how things have worked in the past. So we're going to have to either train everybody, and change their mind that you have to pay the buyer's agent or things can continue the way that they were. That's my two thoughts on this subject. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Lots of people like to disagree with me on all things real estate. And so it'll be interesting to hear what your thoughts are on this. And uh, if you will, you could go see the other video I made here where I described more in detail about what the actual lawsuit was about. But this is about how I think it will actually affect the market and buyers and sellers. Thanks for watching.